don't know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. Happy Thanksgiving out there to all my viewers and uh, my family that I couldn't be with this year. Grandma, Irene, and Aunt Iris, and Rhonda, Paula, Betty, Greg, and Uncle Greg. And Anyway, I understand that, you know, everybody can't do Thanksgiving the way that they usually do, and families are apart from each other. So, therefore, I thought it'd be a good idea if y'all wanted to come hang out with me in my kitchen today, Good All's Country Kitchen, and I'm going to be making some food. I actually started cooking it yesterday, and uh, we're going to take you through the process, and hopefully, you know, for some of y'all that are out there feeling lonely, depressed today because of this COVID shutting everything down, Hopefully uh, we can brighten up your day a little bit and build up your appetite, uh, showing you some of this good food. All right, y'all know what time it is. beef broth, some chicken bouillon cubes, and last but not least, our green beans. Don't forget your onion, salt, and pepper. Go on, Kenzie, put them onions in there. All right. What y'all know about this macaroni and cheese. Now I'm adding my mixture, which has evaporated milk, cream, butter, sour cream, brown sugar, salt, pepper. I don't know if I said butter or not, but. I'm gonna layer it. that middle layer and we'll go back and we're going to get another layer of the macaroni and mixture you know this macaroni and cheese is world famous and now you get to see why After one final layer on top of cheddar, we're ready to go in the oven. Being that everything's already cooked, you're basically just melting everything together. So about once the cheese starts browning on top, you're done. Probably about 25 minutes. All right, Maybe food's ready. So I want to go down the line over here. And I'm not going to start out by lying to you by telling you I made this turkey and dressing because I didn't but my mommy Diane Goodall made it and she's going to continue to make it until she's no longer with us so you won't be seeing any reviews for turkey and dressing from me but anyway uh the dressing is the greatest in the world it's got a lot of uh celery and sage and onion and then of course my world famous mac and cheese and we have Rookie coming out of the gate today, Melissa with her broccoli casserole, uh, Mommy Diane Goodall's chicken and dumplings, and of course my green beans and world famous collard greens, and we have some cranberry, what's it called Melissa? Relish. Cranberry relish, and my uh, deviled eggs over here, and back over here. I, I wouldn't feel good about myself if I tried to front here too. Mary's the only one that wanted mac and, or, uh, mashed potatoes. So I went and got a thing of Bob Evans microwave mashed potatoes. But anyway, I think we got enough homemade goodies here uh, to last us today. So we'll be right back with our plates. All right. I already get into this food, but before I do, 
I just want to uh, tell you all out there for the people that are alone during Thanksgiving and away from their families and couldn't be with their families, I'll be praying and thinking about you. And uh, I hope that we brought you a little bit of enjoyment today, hanging out with us in Goodall's Country Kitchen. And uh, as you can see, Mary's smashing those deviled eggs. No, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thanks for thanks for being with us today. And also thanks to all my subscribers out there. And we actually hit a landmark number today. We went over 100,000 views today, I believe. So uh, just keep hitting those subscription buttons. And uh, I just appreciate and I'm thankful that you all followed me. And also, of course, I'm thankful for all the blessings that my family has had over the last year. And y'all don't know nothing about this good old country kitchen. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.